Shout out to um, TT from the uh, from the female sex. I believe her name is TT. I haven't been subscribed to her long. Uh, she made a um, she made a very interesting point when she was um, addressing her uh, her pro black trolls. In, uh, in the comment section of her videos um, but it was it was it was it was about um, it was about one one particular part that stood out the most to me was relying relying on white people looking looking to white people as a as as a source of reference and um and looking to white people for uh validation um yeah I'm gonna use that word validation looking to white people um as the authoritative um, or leading source for all things perfect, so to speak. Um, you have some people in the conscious community who are um, who are taking a, a scholarly approach to uh, information and their version of what a scholar is they are basing it on um, white society not not on what a um, what many of our elders okay um but the purpose of this whole video the purpose of this whole video is to address that claim that um that black people are still those black people who rely on whites as um as sources and those who rely on white people for validation of their own actions, um, looking those those black people who are looking for respect for the white man, are what she would call new slaves. And and a lot of those guys in in her comment section do not get it. They do not get what the what the meaning of new slave is now I'm um I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that there's more to it than just um relying on on uh white people as um you know source uh reliable sources and uh and, and uh and looking looking to white people as the uh as the standard okay um I just made a video where um where I was where I stated that um I stated that we as black people we we, we continuously or continue to live in the shadow of uh, our our oppressor, we as black people, we um we we continue to do things that our oppressor does. Matter of fact, I, I failed to mention this in that video that many black people. Or having sex like white people. 
okay, um, black people, we, we eat like them, we, we don't know how to eat like ourselves, whenever we, whenever we, uh, plan to go out, we plan to go out the way that they plan to go out, uh, whenever we, uh, have a party or get together, we have a party and get together the way they would have a party and get together, um, it, it seems as though when it comes to just being black, we can't do it, okay, but, but this particular video uh, is supposed to focus on the scholarship part of relying on white people as sources, the way that white people say, um, the way that white people have to put um, all of their sources for for their research in the back of a book. Um, the way that a lot of black people, they have to go to um, publishing companies and get their books, their books published like the Caucasian does. Just so that they can be on par with the Caucasian. Just so that they can be accepted by the Caucasian as though the Caucasian is um, as, as though we want the Caucasian to, to view us as their equal um, if you aren't subscribed to the Mentelec channel I suggest that you subscribe to the Mentelec channel if you are black you need to subscribe to the Mentelec channel um this brother tells us that, and he um, he bags it up that his um, uh, that we are not the same. We are not equal to white people. We are not even considered to be human beings. We are the extraterrestrials that the um, that the tablets of um, Sumeria speak of. Okay, we are the gods and goddesses that ancient Egypt or Kemet speaks of. And here we are. Here we are as gods, goddesses, and extraterrestrials behaving like mortals. See, a lot of people can talk as much shit as they want to about Dr. York. Dr. York didn't have to he didn't have to tell nobody where he got his sources from, but he he did. Okay, that's that's what a lot of that's what a lot of people miss in in Dr. York's teachings. In Dr. York's teachings, he alludes to these people because he always said, "If you don't believe me, check it out." I don't have time to tell you right now who I got it from and how he um, and how he or she uh, says that this information should be. It's, it's up to us because I also said this in a video. Truth is um, is universal. OK. Truth belongs to no man. Truth belongs to no man because truth anything that is true we are going to find it no matter um, if it's if it's by this author or if it's by that author we are going to find truth no matter where we look for it so um, when we talk about um, where did where did you find this source? It doesn't matter where you find the source. What matters is is the source that you found it from and a a reliable uh source. Is the source reliable? Okay. Um comparative comparative study, research, all those things that you that you uh that you 
uh, go about doing in order to receive or uh, come to a final conclusion that the source that you just took that information from is accurate and exact. Okay. Um, so whenever anybody uh, asks me why I follow Dr. York, this is one of the reasons why I follow Dr. York. I'm not some some um, mind-controlled, delusional, um, mindless drone, okay, who's just following them because, you know, of some, you know, like some cult purpose. You cannot lie and say that the man doesn't have any, you know, teachings that that are valid. And, and I mean, he does. And this right here speaks volumes, speaks high volumes. You know, um, we as black people, uh, especially those of us who consider ourselves to be philosophers, teachers, uh, scholars, um, anything in that category that involves books, that involves um, us teaching, we should... Uh, we should establish our own uh, our own way of um, doing things on a scholarship level, on a teaching level, on a um, for a philosophical level. Uh, we shouldn't go by the Caucasian standards. See, uh, another man, uh, two men who do not give you their sources. Raul Nefer Amin does not give you sources. And Moita Ashby does not give you sources. Okay? See, and these men have changed lives for the better. If you, if you want to shoot down Dr. York, cool. You can shoot him down. But there are two other men for the price of that one that you just shot down who who changed the lives of people for the better. Okay. Um, 21, um, that 11 laws of Ma'at. Okay. Uh, Ma'at, the 11 laws of God. That's that's by Raul Nefer Amin. The Comedic Diet by Morta Ashby. Um... You have um, uh, Max Tep Heru, who didn't who didn't give you sources in um, in comedic soulism. Okay, so don't act like Doctor York is the only one who um, who 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 isn't giving people sources. Okay, um, that is a Caucasian's way of of in my opinion that is the Caucasian's way of further dividing um, society because that is where they chose to get their information for whatever book that they were writing our information comes from the earth Okay, our our information comes from the universe. Okay, that's like uh, brother Mentelek. Okay, you you're never gonna know what his sources are. I've seen people in his comment section ask him, um, "What books are we supposed to be reading?" And he'll reply, um. You uh, some along the lines of you don't need to read this in no book. You you see what I'm saying? Because you don't. When you're one with the universe, things are gonna come to you. Okay, so a lot of you who are playing this um this this scholar this scholar role, um you're still you're still hooked by white supremacy you are still hooked in the um, under the spell of white supremacy um, 
King Noble. Another brilliant brother who does not have to give you sources for the thoughts that he has. Okay. Um, the only people, the only people who need sources are white people. They are the ones that want to um, see where you get your information from. But, um, but yeah, you know, with, you know, I'm not gonna make this video too long. I just wanted to address, you know, that, um, and, um, yeah, you know, however you feel, you know, put it in the comment section, you know, let's talk about it, like, subscribe, you know, all that fancy stuff that people talk about, you know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.